Hello friends, today I'm back with another video on this channel. So first of all I would like to say if you are new to this channel, I will be highly obliged if you people subscribe to my channel, like, comment and share this video as much as possible. This is a very new channel and I need all of your supports. So back to the topic, today I am going to cover how you are going to change the splash screen on the Arduino, any of your Arduino projects using an OLED display. The OLED display can be any size 128 by 32 or 64 or any size monochrome or RGB anything how to change the front splash screen uh, that shows the Adafruit logo once the OLED display initializes so let's start with this code of my oximeter so if you don't know what I'm talking about uh, this is the Oxiduino or the Arduino based oximeter the tutorial on how to make it and how to properly use the Oxiduino has been already uploaded in my previous two videos. These will be linked to in the cards and also in the description below. Uh, please see those videos too uh, to get a flavor for what I am saying on this video and what to expect uh, when I say splash screen. So in this Arduino sketch for the oximeter, we can see that I've included two libraries, two OLED libraries both of the Adafruit graphics library and the Adafruit SSD1306.h library these are required for the dis uh, OLED display or displaying anything on those screens uh, so in the 27 number line we can see as I'm highlighting this is the initialization line for the OLED display what this does is that it initializes the display and this is where the Adafruit logo gets displayed onto those OLED screens we want to change that Adafruit logo into our own custom splash screen logo so how do we do it so let's start with that to change the logo on your OLED display in the Arduino you need a logo to create a logo very easily you can use any of these free websites uh, which gives you a design for any logo once you enter the certain parameters uh, for example here I am giving Oxiduino and in the category I want to select uh, technology let's say and click get started so here it has given me a few example logo so I just select one of these let's say this one add customize in this way you can customize a logo to need so I won't go through with this because I have already made a logo so this is the logo I have chosen as you can see it is an inverted image logo this is because my display is a monochrome display and the writings will be displayed in white and the rest of the part will be black that is these are OLED displays so these pixels will be off so it is kind of battery saving too uh, I save it you have to download it and let's see yes it is downloaded here below so I just go to show in folders and yes so we can see this is the logo that we want to display so once you have designed your logo you come to this website which will convert your logo into byte arrays so we click on choose files and we select the logo file then we come to image settings and select the canvas size according to the size of the OLED display that you are using mine is 128 by 32 then we go to background color where we select black or white according to your need you can also invert the image colors by ticking on this box then we go to scaling and we select stretch to fill canvas then in the center we tick horizontally and vertically so we can see a preview in three this will look a bit squished but it will actually turn out okay in the display once it gets displayed on the OLED screen next we come to output where we let it remain in plain bytes don't change this in the draw mode you have to play around a bit with these five options that they're offering uh, and after you select one for example I select the first one and then we go to generate code it will give us the byte array 
so if we look at this note here if the image looks like this garbled image what you have to do is you have to come again and select another option generate this code and use this code so what worked for me is I use this two and this two work for me great so you can try with these two first so I generate the code over here and next what I do is I copy this whole code So in the next step what we want to do is we want to paste the byte array that we have copied from the website into the splash file. So this is located in documents then we go to Arduino folder then we go to libraries folder next into Adafruit SSD1306 folder then we can see splash.h file. You want to open this in notepad plain simple notepad will work. So I've already opened it here. So this is the kind of writing that you will see. I know it won't make any sense, but what this is, is the bitmap image or the image or the logo of the Adafruit in byte arrays. This is what we have converted to in the website previously. So what we want to do is we want to just paste here and we want to do the same thing again here note that when you want to paste it will be within the curly bracket here and the curly bracket at the end don't change any of the other writings just copy paste within the curly bracket similarly here also within the curly bracket don't change anything then what we want to do is save and we exit out of this so a good practice will be to keep the original splash file and rename it into something like splash original or something so that when, when we want to revert back to it we can simply just rename it back to splash.h and delete this one. So the work actually is done so whenever we will be using these two OLED libraries and initialize the OLED with this line in any of the code after this your own personal logo will be displayed in each and every one of those projects